If you look at what is happening in this country, it's only when they want to give us job, they remind us of our age. It is only when you finish your university, you want to go for service, they remind you of your age and experience before giving you job. But if you look at what is going on in this country, you discover the people who are in the ends of affairs, by amalgamations, they have seen all this country with age. <laughs> I don't know if you are getting me. Yes, by the amalgamated marriage we did, that bring us as one Nigeria, you discover that their age, they have seen all the am am amalgamation by 20 or 25 years. But they are still the one in the power. But when it comes to our time, because they know when we take, take over, things will get better, they will not bring the age barrier. They use it as a weak point to kill us. Everybody is aware, everybody knows the kind of poor education we have in this country. When you go to rural areas, you see that there's no seed. They gather under the tree. But don't forget, in this country, there was a time that those our leaders were being given pocket money. Federal government paid their school fees. They were well fed during their school time. They traveled by train to their schools. But today we don't have train in this school, in this country. Even the train that this present government and the former government revived, at times they go and vandalize the way on the road. Do we still do we have to hold fold our hands and wait for these people to, to do it? For us all we have to step into the power and do it ourselves. Now, Yakubu Gawan was the president of this nation at the age of 31. The other person is it Abdul Salami at the age of 37. But today, <laughs> the present government or the present president, how old is he? And they are planning to take over with another person is coming from somewhere. He also <laughs> so I don't know where they are taking us to.